Hey there, hi there, ho there. Narjan here, in this video I'm going to be showing you the ins and outs of fighting Chronovore, which includes the best armor and weapon to use, its attacks, what parts of it are breakable, and some other info. So without further ado, let's begin. Chronovore is a Radiant Behemoth, so the best weapon element against it would be Umbral, and for armor, Radiant would be strongest. When it comes to weapons, if I had to pick one, it would be the sword. The main reason being it allows me to interrupt Chronovore from afar. The first one is where it flies in a circle. The second one is where it rolls up into a ball and then slams into the ground. The third one is where it spins in place. The fourth one is where it shoots a few radiant beams from its tail. The fifth one starts with the same attack, which is where it uses its tail as a whip, but then the attacks after can be random. These are the ones I've encountered. The sixth one is similar to the previous, except this one only starts with the same animation. Chronovore will coil up like a snake, but then the attacks it does are completely random. Here are the ones I've encountered. The seventh one is another one that follows up with random attacks. It always starts with a tail swipe attack though. The eighth one is what I like to call the beam me up Scotty attack. Do your best to avoid this one since it typically one shots. For the last one, Chronovar will dash at you like Speed Racer. The first one is as it enters its Aether Charge state. It will start out the same as one of its regular attacks. It will fly around in a small circle before disappearing, but instead of abducting you, this time it will leap out of the ground and soar through the air like a graceful dolphin before slamming the ground like a nuke. There will also be a radiant ring that spreads outwards. You can jump over it or dodge through it to avoid it, but if you don't, it will trap you in a radiant dome, which you can break by doing damage to it. You'll also notice two different colored crystals that will have spawn, similar to Valimor's. The red one will buff your next three attacks, and the green one will heal you slowly over time. The last one has a couple variants. It will spiral into the air before disappearing, then it will reappear and do one of two things. Shoot out radiant balls or slam the ground and create radiant rings one to three times before ending with a radiant shockwave which can one-shot you. The first one is as it enters its enraged state. It will fly in a circle. The last one is similar to the last one of its Aether Charge attacks. It will disappear and then reappear, and most of the time it does the variant where it shoots out radiant balls one or three times, but sometimes it will create the radiant ring before ending with a radiant shockwave.
The first one is when it goes to strike at you. I find this one almost impossible to predict, let alone time it, so I wouldn't bother with this one. The second one is when it flies at you. The last one is when it does one of its random attacks while it's either charged or enraged, though the one while it's enraged has a much shorter window of time. This guy has four. You can get it from its head, wings, aetherplasm, and tail, and these are the parts you can get from them. When it goes to abduct you, you can use the ability of Koshai's Lantern to escape it. Speaking of Koshai's Lantern, you can use its ability to also escape the Radiant Dome. When it flops onto its back, the easiest way to dodge a shockwave is to be closest to where Chronovar lands and dodge right before it does that. When it does the random variant of attacks before ending with a shockwave, be far away before it does it and dodge right before the shockwave reaches you. My last tip is that after it comes out of its enraged state, Chronovar will be exhausted and won't move for a few seconds. That's pretty much it. The next guide will be on Lightbound Boreas, so if you don't want to miss it, give that subscribe button a little love tap and don't forget to turn notifications on. If you'd like to help support my channel, I have a Patreon where you can do that and get perks. Links in the description below. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I love you all and I hope you guys have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or night. Be seen next video and a happy slaying.